telly. Wow. That's much nicer than my stuff. <laughs> that was, that was I, nice I just had spaghetti and meatballs because I, I found some beef mints and some tomato sauce and I made spaghetti and Oh, uh, we mentioned food. That means the game has started in the Twitch chat. <laughs> are they playing with the, Are they playing with the medals rules as well? That every time I say ultimately or therefore, they have to as well. I'm not sure. I get confused whether this was the WCS chat or this chat or the ESET chat. There's lots of different drinking games revolving around me, which is quite scary. Oh come on, guys! You can't play drinking games unless I have a drink. That's unfair. I I don't have any beer. I drank it all yesterday. <laughs> That's no fun. But anyway, we're in the game, so let's introduce these two. Down in the bottom right position, we have the Red Terran player. It's Nervo. It is, and in the bottom left as our Protoss player, it is Chinky. Is it Chink or Chinky? Because it's a I double Y. I think it's y. Chink double Y. Maybe his double Y chromosomes. Like, I, I don't know. Ever what... so manly. Yeah, like double man. He's so manly. Just like, why? Ugh. It can actually happen, you can get XYY chromosomes. Something ridiculous like 70 or 80% of all criminals in um, violent crime have XYY chromosomes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something to do with it. It increases their aggression. Yeah, testosterone levels. Mm. That's what does it. Learn something new, we're not just talking about StarCraft and food. We're, we're highly educated young individuals, aren't we, Greedy? Uh, yes. We I, not. I Seriously, which, yes. when we were talking about food. <laughs> yeah, food was good. But no, we do see coming down at the moment the, the gateway, the double gas for Chink and for Nervo. One Rax, one gas. Yep, so he's going to probably go straight up into factory unless... Uh, he, he, he won't go Reaper. Well, at least not straight away unless... No, no. Marine's on the way now. No delaying until Reaper. And everything very standard when Protoss has got double gas, uh, two in each. So, all going down as well. So, nothing too scary. This is probably just going to be for a relatively quick mothership call. It could also be for some one base play. Um, Stargate would be clearly very effective on Newkirk, just because it's yeah, short that, rush and, distance. And that proxy location at the potential fourth base, where yep. you can drop a Stargate and then have oracles in their base about ten, <laughs> ten seconds after it's finished constructing. You like herb derp, you like oracles. Um, Speaking that... of proxies at the potential fourth base, we've got a proxy factory. Is he going to lift and start building widow mines in the main? Well, widow mines in the main. Yeah, it's... and then literally you get you get two or three, and you just run them out into their mineral line in their main. They're like, oh, crap. I guess I'll lose everything <laughs> then, especially if you're going for a one base play. At yeah. least if you take a quick nexus, you can just be like, oh well, I'll and, just take all my probes down there. And you're denied me. mining at your main until you get a, an observer out. You just, you can't do it unless you've got really impeccable timing and know like, right, it's been 30 seconds, run all the probes away again, leave one, take the hit, 40 that, second timer now. That is legitimately why some of those keyboards are getting like little monitors on them for timers, just for that occasion. Like oh. finally StarCraft has a use for them, you no. like, we don't mind timer, bang! <laughs> oh god, that stalker went around checking the urges of the base just as the factory was flying in and he didn't see it. And, and he's not going to go back and check there again now. No, he won't. He's like, there's nothing there. This is all fine. I guess I'm safe. A scan going off. Being like, herbed up. He's not getting any any robotics facility or any oh, detection. God. Yeah, I know. And he got the SUV in, so it looks like, oh, I'm just gonna scout you because I'm doing a normal build. And I mean, he's expanding behind us, so there is a transition. And getting an eBay. Oh, the mothership core. Come on, hero mothership core. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Go on. You've got this. You've got this core. You've got this. You've got this. Yeah, Ready for the moment. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and now, what are we gonna see? <laughs> As the just first the winner one comes out. Comes out. Scuttling along, like, and you're just wait like, a second, double good take. Stay. Use it, start to tag in the factory, but he can't. He's got to. Well, I mean, Rover's on the way. He has been tied mining from this. There we go, for a little bit. Is it worth it? Maybe. I think he should lift off that factory and go home. Yeah, that, the they might won't be able to get out now. It shouldn't be able to survive anyway. Um, it's possible with a bit of luck, no, and no, apparently. There you go. Okay, come on, with a mine. Oh, we don't mind. You can do this. Burrow, 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 burrow. Okay, good. Unburrow. Wonder what a 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 burrow. Look where you got it, Widow Mike. Come back, burrow, 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 Widow Mike, burrow. You can do it. Oh, you can't. Two probes have been killed by this Widow Mine, and I mean the denied mining time is already paid for itself. Gonna float that factory away from any danger and behind this, Nervo's taken a command center. So while we got all that entertainment of watching Widow Mines. It was, it was fine. Hmm, 
My StarCraft appears to have frozen. Oh dear. Mine hasn't, which is quite interesting because you're the host, so... Yes, I, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. How does that even work? I'm not sure. I can't click anything. Oh, well, uh, I can't click anything. What? 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 Like, I can click the buttons and it's making noises, just the screen isn't changing. Are you moving the camera? Yeah, I, I'm moving to the corner. And I, I, this is very bizarre. I've never ever experienced anything quite like this. Don't worry, it's fine. Just just enjoy it, Greedy. Go with it, go with it. But now we do see that we have got this observer seeing, chasing the factory back to the main. The orbital command going to go and float down there for Nervo. Who's getting down a missile turret at its front? The starport is completed. Um, the game has now paused. Was that yeah, you, Greedy? I, I have paused it because this is very bizarre. Can you see it on the stream? Like, I can click buttons and it makes sounds. It just doesn't change anything on my screen. Have you tried moving the camera with your middle mouse button, Squirrel? Or with, no, like, no, no, like... It, uh, it's very strange. Hold on. Hold on. We're prepared. Okay. Lean back, everyone. Take a bit of a stretch. You've um, left the game. Yeah, I know. I, I have no idea what's going on. My screen has... This we is are very eight, strange. Eight, three seconds into this right now. Hold on. I'll remember that. Don't worry. Yeah. I got your uh, back, bro. I got your back. I'm just going to restart StarCraft because it's been... Okay. So. Like, so in uh, the meantime, we can, we can summarize what occurred there. <laughs> the the correct answer was we saw Widow Mine scuttling, trying to do some damage. Didn't manage to do that much, but they did allow the the lovely Terran to take his expansion behind it relatively safely. The observer just got in to get some scouts off, and that's the eight minute three second mark. Yeah, and that was that was very bizarre. I'm not sure what happened there, but literally the entire screen. So it was like a screenshot frozen on the screen. But I could still click buttons and get noises and get responses like. The game hadn't crashed, it had just decided to imprint a, a permanent image on my screen. Was it at more. least a good area of the screen? No, it was just where the factory was floating. So I was oh. like, and here's the factory floating, and then I was like, and I can't do anything. That factory was just blatantly a bit of an attention seeker. Yeah. Wanted to steal the limelight, and that's what it was. I, I know I do have quite a few technical problems. I think it's because I am cursed. But I have never had that ever happen to me before. That was very bizarre. So, back in we go. Hopefully it won't pause again. Can you 8 times speed it to 8 minutes? Yes, of course. Just for you. You've got this, bro. Don't worry. You've got this prepared. We could do an action, an action replay. <laughs> <laughs> we can't cast at 8 times speed. I think we might die. And here we go. And those SCPs mining. Look at the SCPs mining. They're mining. They're mining. <laughs> It is all good fun. So yeah, of course. Quick, uh, quick recap. <laughs> it wouldn't be StarCraft 2 without obviously getting some some issues, tech issues. It's always the way. Yeah. It's always the fun way, to be fair. Yeah. StarCraft 2 can run on any com machine. It just can't run that well on any machine. I know. It's especially the thing that gets me is it lags for me sometimes, and I have a beast of computer. Like I can whip through like 1080p video editing. In mm. something like four times speed, easily. Oh yeah, Yet yeah. I, I I I do like lots of rendering and 3D animation, etc., etc. And I've got like an i7, i90, and all of this stuff. But this StarCraft just does not like me. Same with XSplit. It hates me. Yeah, but everyone knows XSplit's really quite poorly it's, optimized it's at the moment. Horrendously optimized, especially they need with to Skype. Fix that. It hates Skype. Why does it hate Skype so much? It's like, let's let's think about this. It's not like broadcasters are ever going to use Skype with XSplit. No, no point trying to make that work together. <laughs> no, it's, no, they're going to solo cast. Why would they want to communicate with other people while they stream? Oh. Or recording game, oh. or teams wanting to record the games. But no, we, we should stop being passive-aggressive towards XSplit. I do actually quite like it as a program. It's fantastic it and allows us to do all of this. But it does have its little quirks. And talking of little quirks, we've got a robotics play just finishing up. The double forge coming down. My oh my greedy, I think Chink wants to go to the late game. Yes he does, and with the double eBay already down from Nervo, well, I mean, with the double eBay down, with correct chrono boosting from the Protoss, the Terran is behind on upgrades. Look at that scan though. You could not ask for a better scan. Sees both forges, sees the robotics bay. Just like, why not, why not just build it in your opponent's base and be like, this is what I got bro. Yeah, I know, that was a wonderful scan. It, it, didn't get the pylon on the far right hand side. Could that be detrimental? <laughs> well, he may think now that Chink is supply blocked. That <laughs> could do it. 
<laughs> he has one too few pylons, I'm gonna check outside my base. <laughs> 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 There's gonna be a proxy, bro. <laughs> but no, as we can see, we have got more gay race coming down here. The mothership core happily banking up energy is a 200 of 200. Meanwhile, for Nervo, he's just making marines because marines are good units. Yes, marines are the best. They are the cream of the crop. No, they are actually just rehabilitated prisoners sent to die for the Dominion. Those poor marines. I know. But um, here we go, Nervo has got his plus two weapons coming down and his plus one armor. Brodo's got his 1-1 one, one going, but with correct chrono he can actually boost that out and have his 3-3 done far before the Terran's is. All comes down to what he wants to spend that chrono on, and if the Terran pressures him enough, spend it on his gateways instead. As long as he chrono boosts though, that's the important thing. We've got a third coming down here for Chink as well, so he's Macron, Macroing up the double forge. And the really early robotics bay is a bit of a giveaway that you're going to be macroing up. But in terms of the work count, 49 to 47, which hugely favours the Terran, due to those magical little workers called mules. Yep, mules are quite astounding at collecting minerals. And as everyone knows, marines only cost minerals, so why would you mine anything else? Exactly. And more to the point, the only thing that could be better than a marine or a mule is if you somehow combine the two units together. <laughs> a mule a mule -reen. Murine. That works so well, especially if they like lasted forever as well. Just like when your marines are just sitting around defending nothing, they can just start mining. And then you can stim and the mule mines even faster. <laughs> Slight mistake here from Ching is, is Twilight finished slightly after his upgrades did, so... Mm, that's the only thing, but he is starting a chrono now on those upgrades. Oh, the scan sees really the third push. base. Oh god. That third base go. has been found, and let's look at what there is to defend. Yes, there are three Colossus. But there's not very much supporting said three colossus. Yeah, that is true. That there's not too much gay units. There are these stalkers, but it's an it's a pure marine army. I mean, everyone knows marines are powerful, but three colossus with nothing to buffer for the marines, that that marine army is just going to get melted. But pulling the army back into the main with the drop, and he's going to go out and he's going to kill this. Uh, there's no two yep. ways about it. He's going to kill this. Pylon gets sniped down. Smart move there by Nervo, just meaning those warpins can't go down. No way to save the nexus. Will fall, and now you run away. Well, actually, uh, no, three Colossus and that many Marines. Even with adequate splitting, he'd still lose a lot and not take down that many Colossus. Poor, poor, poor Nexus. Oh, it's gone. It'll, it'll be back, though. They're warping in another one from Aya. But it's going to die again, because there's another drop coming back. <laughs> Surprise! Back from the dead! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm another drop, you're gonna die, but of course these three Colossus are now here and they are not gonna have any of this. Ow. That yeah. just looks painful. The way Marines die to Colossi. I I'm surprised they don't drop their gun, maybe they're strapped to their hands, but they like wave them in the air like, Argh. We do see of course in the main another drop going down, but the Stalkers clean that up quite effectively. Yeah. And ultimately, this is, yeah, this is not too bad, nothing to really worry about. Both players looking fairly equal, the third command center is just completed for Nervo, he's starting his orbital command. But just to touch on they don't drop their guns, it's because they like, oh, who sang that song? I throw my hands up in the air. Oh, uh, it, it, no, is it Akon? No, oh, was um, it? Yeah, oh, God. Tire Cruise. Tire Cruise, that's it. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I think ty uh, Tempo should do a, do a cover of that. I like wave my gun up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Free props to that. But of course, we do see the Marines coming back in once more. They're going to not be able to take out the third though, because those three Colossi are guarding it diligently. Colossus is so much bigger than Nexus, that doesn't even make sense. Well, battle cruisers can get shot down by marines. It's, it's, this, this game sometimes does not make sense for balance, but really <laughs> weird tech choice here. Chink going for blink rather than charge, so it looks like he wants to be really stalker-centric and go for more denying the drops rather than... Well, that makes sense because currently Nervo is just dropping everywhere, and so that's something to watch out for. We do see that the uh, next cannon goes down. And the thermal lances go down even harder. Ouch. And so many marines just die there. You can't exist on pure marine. Especially with Storm finishing up right now. Yeah, there's... You can't. You've got to transition out of this. And currently, yes, there are some marauders coming into this composition. But look at the facts. There's four Vikings out. We do have ghosts on the way, though. And a nuke is nearly done. If this nuke comes into play... Nervo may become one of my favorite, favorite Terran players. Just instantly. I think he... It depends how he uses it. Like most people use them aggressively. I think defensively they're 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 much more useful, especially when you've got an army pushing you. You're like, oh crap, I'm not ready for this yet. Nuke time, and you drop the nuke, and the Protoss player just can't 
can't risk it. They can't stay in that new zone. Or what you've got to really do is use them on your own army for epic mind games. <laughs> I will never forget that game ever. And then tell, uh, yeah, kill your own, nuke your own army, and then tell them that you're ready for their surrender. Yeah, <laughs> just like I am prepared. Like I am so far ahead, I nuked my own army. <laughs> like, that's that's gonna be psychological and, warfare. But yeah, as we can... second second Ghost Academy as well, so he's getting his cloak now. But I want to see him get a second nuke as well. He's Two just gonna get all the Ghost Academies. Just like get ten of them, get ten nukes out, ten ghosts, send them everywhere, and just like paint the map with little little red dots. Yeah. Give the map measles, and as plus three attack finishes for the Protoss, his armor isn't too far behind. Charge is just about to finish. Oh, such an irritating time for the Protoss player to have to engage, but there it goes down. No storms yet. No, the storm's just waiting quite patiently. There is enough energy on the High Templar for them to go down. Two, oh, three, sorry, of the Colossi do manage to survive, and that just means that this army for Nervo is not going in there. But he does have a couple of Marines and Marauders coming over the top to take out these pylons, but they're going to get so badly trapped as long as... Ching no, doesn't no. go the other way. Yeah, Ching went the other way. He's he's after that one Viking. He hates that Viking. Yeah, he's not, cannot... actually, he's changed his mind. He's just gonna let it leave. But this weird wall of py this, the Great Wall of Pylons, <laughs> connecting just like, his I... fourth and his third with them, um, it's just bizarre. Everywhere is powered though. Everywhere is powered over the top there. And if one proxy pylon goes down, you've got more. You've got them everywhere, that's the important thing. And now the fourth command center is down. The third base has been mining for quite a while though for Chink. If we look at the work count, 73 to 65. That does put Nervo yeah, ahead with Chink yours. Chink is but, almost yep. maxed and he's pushing in here at the third battle. All oh, oh, just goes down, not even a chance. Vikings coming in and engaging over the Stalkers, not the best move. Zealots fighting on their own, however, they're almost all gone. Oh, all those storms. storms! Oh, those storms yeah. were so good. And I mean, storming his own stalkers, but wow, those EMPs just so much help was taken off the brighter scene is that the marauders and marines just killed every. In terms of how that trade went, it wasn't, it was a pretty even trade, to be honest. They've ended that engagement with very similar army sizes, but the big difference is Nervo lost his third. Admittedly, he has a spare one, which he made earlier, but still, that's going to delay things. We've got the fourth coming out for Chink now, and as long as he holds off this little push, which I don't honestly see him having no. much issue with. I, I don't know, because if he heals up his army and he waits for an EMP or two, then yeah, I think he can hold this. But no, with that big warping of Stalkers, and this, I did not see those Templar. These Templar are just going to be so brutal. And there we go, Binyu going down on top of the... The ramp, while this army gets cleaned up, modes of storms affecting the zealots really, and this nuke bye is going to land, and goodbye pro. Oh, ho, ho. there's something special about tactical nukes. It's the big, it's the big mushroom cloud, and it's like um, the whole America thing. America. <laughs> <sighs> it makes <laughs> it just makes me happy inside. It makes me smile. It makes me smile a lot. But as you can see, um, this is now actually fairly equal. I would say it's ultimately because the work account is heavily in Nervo's favor. He's got his fourth command center coming down. He did just kill quite a good chunk of probes, and the fourth isn't yet down for Chink. But Chink does have a good number of archons, and his standing army is looking very scary. Yeah, his standing army is very impressive. It's got a good mix of colossus storms. Archons, Stalkers, and Zealots, and is he going to walk into this nuke though? No. You must see it, because it's... For a second there, I was just like, stop, please, just stop, but no, should be, should be safe. Uh, Nukes are even fun when they don't kill anything. Yeah, I mean, you just watch them and you're like, oh. I think it's the burning crater that helps as well. Yeah, maybe they should make it so it irradiates the area, so nothing can go through ever again. <laughs> that would be so OP. Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's not about that, it's about teaching children responsibility and about nuclear safety. <laughs> because that comes up daily. Yeah, like, it is a daily battle. <laughs> however, what is a daily battle is Protoss v Terran. Thousands of games gone a day, but in this one, Chinky, he's just not rushing. He's like, I've got my fourth up, I've got pylons everywhere, I'm just going to cover the map in pylons. Ooh. Going in trying to snipe the medevac here, good blink back. But here we go, three colossus and that big arc on wall. 
Nerva kind of wants to engage at this choke point, really limit the effectiveness of the Zealots and Archons, but not at the open side. He's now backing off here, big nuke going down, and that ghost just dies instantly. And I don't see him winning this. This army is just too beefy from the Protoss player. Archon's moving forward and rinsing everything. Yeah, the Zealots aren't even dead yet, and there's still all of the Archons before you even touch on those Colossi. There's the GG, and Chinky will take game number.